Mm. That's a lot of effort. It doesn't work that well, but you're supposed to hold it horizontally when you do it. This is a small child's toy, racing cars, but... <laughs> that's better, isn't it? I've got about ten in my collection, all of which are whistles, except this one here has got a siren in it. And that's what I'm looking at today, so siren toys, ones which have a little siren in it. And that's a nice one from Bruder from Germany. Here's a much more overt one for very small children. It's a little car which sort of goes along the ground, but look at the siren on top of it. A huge great thing, completely out of proportion, but for small children who can only grasp things with their fingers like this, it's perfect. Turn it round and then... <coughs> Wonderful noise maker. Superb. That works extremely well for a small child. That would be a delight. And it's a noise. It's always a noise, isn't it? Here's a siren toy which I've had in my Fragile's bag, mostly party toys, for about 20, 30 years. I've never used. It's like a pea shooter. There's a siren in it. <laughs> and to get this plug, which is going to pop out like, like the peas, you put it in and you push and you blow the other way. Right, it sticks to the bottom. And now if I blow it vertically... <laughs> ooh, that's all right. Let's try one even more vertical. Scarb to the back. Whoa, sort of, yeah. Okay, anyway, it works very well. And it's for small children to play with at parties. I did try putting two in, but it jams up. But a single one works very well indeed. Nice one, that one. Small boys who love things on bicycles, and they usually have a, 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 a bicycle bell. Here's an interesting idea. It's Japanese. It came out about 40 years ago. And uh, you put it on the handlebars. And instead of going ring, 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 it's actually a little siren, look. That's a good idea for a small child to pretend they're a police car or something, making a lot of siren sound. That's a very nice toy, that. Also for children who love from protecting their bedroom from intruders and things, here's a sort of burglar alarm. You put a string across to the door and have this attached back to the wall next to the door. And when someone trips in and pushes the door open, this is what happens. <coughs> the little batteries inside. And a very, very loud siren indeed. And when this is pulled open, the batteries charge the wheel along. What a lovely sound that is. Perfect for a small child who loves playing with protecting their bedroom or their territory type of thing. One of the very earliest siren toys I ever picked up was this one here made by Acme. I think it's an American company. I bought it in Chapels, one of the leading um, distributors of musical instruments, particularly orchestral ones, or, or percussion ones. It's a siren. <laughs> but it's meant for the proper orchestra. And if you look inside it, it's a nice way of showing what's actually happening. There's a wheel turning around there, a little black wheel. It's, got, it's beautifully balanced this with a, with a very, very nice little bearing. And as the air comes through, it's chopped up. The air is chopped up as it spins, and it's a chopping action. There's a little, little packet of air being chopped that causes the, the, the sound. And the faster you make it, the higher is the sound, the quicker the chopping. Now, if you're in an orchestra and the, and the conductor says, it's nice, but I want more volume, please, more volume, what do you do? Well, you buy an addition from the same company, a big horn, and it's meant for this one to go in. So let's have a go. This is the Acme Siren, but with an amplifier, a big amplifier. This will drown the conductor, I think. <laughs> mm, yes, good noise, good noise. So if you're in an orchestra, that's what you use, sirens. I discovered when I was playing around with these little things that they sell, um, it's, it's part of a party favour, little sirens like this, which go <laughs> out of the way, and there's things you can do with it. I discovered when I was playing around with it that, for instance, you can put it on balloons, put it on two balloons one with, 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 a, with a siren in between. So when you squeeze here, it goes, when you squeeze here, it goes here. Slightly ghostly sound, isn't it? Lovely idea. I think the original idea was just to have a single one, so when you take it off... And that's really what a child's used to. They blow it up and inflate it. But putting two together, I think, is a lot more fun. And the other great use I've had for sirens were these amazing long party blowouts, which um, I had made for me about 30 years ago. This is the standard one, but a little bit longer than usual. Hardly works. The reason it doesn't work very well is because 
it's a bit too long and it's got one of these little squeakers in it. So I discovered that by taking this off and putting a siren on it, it makes a much, much uh, louder sound and that's what you need. So this is what I then did. I made some ones which have got beautiful, beautiful siren sound and there's an extra effect which I want to show you. So this is about four foot long. So we'll go across the table. We'll see how it goes. That fluttering action was something I discovered entirely by accident. I just happened to play with one which had a bit of damage at the end, so I took away a bit of the string wire, and then took a bit more string wire on, just for fun, and made cuts in it. And then I found this extraordinary fluttering action occurs, but only when it's on a hard surface. If you do it up in the air, it doesn't seem to work. So... Beautiful sound. Let's try one more. And then I thought, well, let's have one more go with these party blowouts and have a, see if we can do something with some, our old friend talcum powder. Huh. So I'll put talcum powder in this. What's going to happen now? You can guess. <laughs> yes. Well, I tried it at the children's party, and the first time I did it, a small child said to me, lovely, mister, but what about sneezing powder in it? Oh, kids. Oh, nice idea, though. Thank you.